All right, today I'm going to Scotland on a bonnie wee trip to Edinburgh. Freedom! Now you're probably wondering why I included that clip from Braveheart. And yeah, in part it's like a funny allusion to Scottish culture, but also whenever I get a chance to travel somewhere, it means a night of freedom for me because Lindsay snores like a wild boar giving birth. Honestly, it's terrible, so whenever I get to go on a road trip, it means a night of peace and quiet for me. Anyway, let's head out. Alright, so this is Edinburgh. 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 It's a weird word. Anyway, I'm just gonna freshen up real quick and head out because I've got some eating to do, but I think I can show you around this zany room first. So we've got this wacky wallpaper job here. Some copies of The Dandy, which is a British comic book on the wall. I do like comic books, but I was never a huge fan of The Dandy. Then we've got this second bed over here. I don't know if they're expecting any beer mixed food groupies. Ha ha ha. That's a joke, but uh... All in all, this is a pretty tidy room. I like it. What's happening, Beard Army, and welcome to episode number 55, I think, of the Chronicles of Beard. And today, as you can probably see, I'm in a very swanky restaurant called Montpellier's in Edinburgh, and I'm taking on the, as yet, undefeated Monster Burger Challenge. What? <laughs> This guy's face throughout the entire edit of this video has been cracking me up because uh, not because he has a funny face or anything But um, it's always fun to see people's reaction to what I do if you know, maybe they've not seen me Eat before or something like that. He's still confused. Look at him But um, Actually on that topic I should probably explain why there are other people in this frame on either side of me There are two guys from opposing local rival rugby teams in Edinburgh and um Apart from the guy to my right as you're watching in the blue polo shirt, they're all prop forwards. And if you know your rugby, you'll know that prop forwards have to be huge. So they definitely dwarfed me in terms of size. But I don't think I'm spoiling anything by saying that they couldn't really eat worth a sniff. Uh -huh. But yeah, this is Montpellier's in Edinburgh. It's a really nice bar and grill. They invited me down to take on this monster burger challenge, which... Nobody has managed to defeat yet, so I think they drafted me in um, to try and give it a shot. And uh, it was cool that they arranged for some of the local rugby guys who thought they could finish it uh, to compete with me. Um, that was a lot of fun. But uh, I did actually post a picture of this challenge on uh, my social media channels, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. If you're not following me on there, follow me at Beard Meets Food. Uh, it's fun to respond to people and stuff like that. But a lot of people that saw the picture commented saying like oh that's gonna be so easy and let me tell you it's not easy because the constituents of this meal are um pretty heavy in weight um the kicker here is the amount of mandatory liquid you have to take in and this is why i thought the rugby dudes would struggle because there's actually 2.8 liters of mandatory 
liquid. So you get two liters of Coke. I'm actually on my second year. Um, a lot of the guys didn't get past the first liter. They don't bring them out at the beginning. They just kind of refill your liter jug from the beginning. Um, and there's also um, 800 mils of milkshake, which was absolutely delicious. Uh, I think this was a vanilla milkshake. On top of that, there's eight, eight ounce burger patties, which is 64 ounces. So that's about 1800 grams. Um, 400 grams of mac and cheese, about a pound of that. The mac and cheese was delicious. I'm not normally a huge fan of mac and cheese. And I thought about eating this first because I knew it would be grief at the end. Look, I'm trying to burp some air out here. Um, but uh, yeah, there's that. Then there's a bunch of bacon and sides, you know, the potatoes, onion rings, etc. So all in all, it comes in at about 5.2, 5.3 kilos of stuff. That's a conservative estimate. So it's around 12 pounds. So this is not an easy challenge by any means. Um, but the food was delicious. The staff was so attentive. And at first I was kind of thinking like, this isn't the kind of place that would normally have an eating challenge. That's uh, that's a pickle, by the way, which was girthy, man, uh, which I didn't really want to eat at this point. Um, so I was getting there, but um, yeah, really delicious. Um, and Montpellier is a great place. The food was delicious. And uh, if you're going to go, go on a Wednesday because they do burgers and a cocktail for 10 quid, which is very reasonable. But yeah, I want to thank them for inviting me. Uh, we're just getting towards the end now. I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video in peace. And I'll catch you at the end. What time will you? 23 minutes. Plenty of time. I watched the record wheel. You hear the wolf here? That's the way you break it. Yeah, I don't know why. It's getting pulled off. That's it! See potential. You didn't do bad. Go and meet them.